goes back in time to before we knew anything. Holding us together, it's holding us together. I'm tied to you. Yeah, you would know about long and hard, wouldn't you, Fag? Huh, Fag? You hear me, Fag? Huh, Fag? You hear me, Fag? He's still just a deaf and dumb. When I'm out of here, it's lunchtime. Hey, prick. Give me your lunch money. Never mind. Forget it, Fag. Hey, what are you doing in the bushes? Who? Me? Yes, you. I don't know. It's amazing. The bushes? Yeah. Where's the amazing? Look. I don't see anything. You can't see this? You mean this leaf? Yes. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You don't get out much, do you? I think you walked through a spider web or two. Oh, I gotta go. What school do you go to? Never mind. Will you be here when school's out? Okay, when school's out, I'll come here and see if you're still here. So, which component of soil absorbs the most water? Clyde! Uh, sand? Clay. That is right, Thomas, but next time, please don't interrupt, okay? Sorry. I'm gonna kick your little ass after school. Ooh. Clyde, what have I told you about your language? But miss, he's but being an asshole. Get out! But, but miss. Get out! Okay. 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 All right, you guys, you ready for the next round? Which soil? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What are you smiling at? You? Get away from me. I could have found you the way if I wasn't trying to find you. Well, you found me. I'm right here. Well, where were you? Well, I was getting my ass whipped. I was over there. Then I came over here to get a closer look. What? I was over there. Yeah, never mind. I heard you. Leave me alone. Why are you following me? I don't know. Well, you can't. I have to go home. Why did he attack you? Because he's a bully. Duh. Bully? I don't know what that is. They're bigger than you, so they beat you up. Oh. I'm bigger than you. Am I a bully? You go that way. I will go this way. This is not your way. You go that way. I don't know where either way goes, so I'm just gonna go this way. I like this way. <laughs> where do you live? What's the street name? What city? This is a trick I learned. Close your eyes. Put your hands over them. Nothing's happening. Mom? Granny? Anyone here? your face nothing nothing my ass what happened to your face mom it's fine it is not fine thomas now i'm tired of these little boys beating up on you you gotta learn how to fight back that'll just make it worse no it who is that oh my god hi there Oh, hi. What are you doing? Playing with the green thing. Okay, um, it's getting a bit late, don't you think? I don't know. Why did you follow me home? Because we're friends. I just met you today. Okay, babe, back in the house. Uh, little girl, what's your name? Joy. Joy what? Joy, Joy. Your last name is Joy, too? No, that's silly. I don't have a last name. Okay, uh, little girl, why don't you just come on inside, okay? Yeah. All right, go have a seat. Okay, little Miss Joy, where are your parents? Here we go with this again. You okay, baby? Yes, I'm fantastic. What an experience. The mashed potatoes? They're instant. Everything, the taste, the feel. It's all so amazing. Now I see what I can deal with. <laughs> Thomas, Grandma is almost finished with your quilt. It's gonna be done just in time for the fall. Why not just go buy a blanket? It seems like a lot of wasted time. Boy, be grateful. That's okay. When I was young, someone sewing you a quilt, socks, or even mittens was a show of love and appreciation. 
People didn't have money, so they put love in every stroke of the needle. Why are you crying? That's so beautiful. Uh -oh. oh. How was your day? Fine. Good. Thanks. Who's that? Oh, uh, that's one of Thomas's friends. Joy, you can sleep on the couch. Thomas, go to your room. I don't want you around this girl. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, we got the weekend to figure this out. But if you don't tell me your last name or your parents' name, we have to take you to Child Protective Services on Monday. Okay, I really want to help you. I need you to help me, too. I understand. Thanks for letting me stay. It's much nicer here. <laughs> nicer than where? That old building. Old building? Uh, what old building? All right, sweetie. Why don't you get some sleep? I can't sleep. Me either. There's so much to see. Okay, yeah. You really gotta stop acting like you've never eaten mashed potatoes. I haven't. Joy, where did you come from? Why are you wearing these old people clothes? I don't know. I woke up in an old building, I walked out, and then I met you. This is too weird. Your mom's so sad. Yeah, it's like this most nights. Dad stores mom cries. Either she's crying or the baby. Or both. So sad. I said we're gonna get a divorce. No, he loves her. He just has to find her again. She's right there. Can't you hear her? Yeah, I can hear her. Grandma says that Grandpa's like that too. I didn't get to meet him. He died before I was born. That's unfortunate. I guess. I'm going back to bed before anyone comes. Good night. See you in the morning. See you in the morning.
Joy? Yes. We taking you to the emergency room. I'm not sick, but it would be nice to experience that. Oh honey, Joy, this is not normal. I mean, a person doesn't just grow up overnight. Literally. There's something wrong with that child. Joy, stand up. Okay, I'm gonna get you some of my clothes because you are busting out of these. Thank you. Devil is a lie. Buckle up. I take it that you've never ridden in a car before either. I think the nurse made a typo. Now what exactly did you grow overnight? She did. She did what? She grew up overnight. She went to bed, she was nine, and then Today, she woke up and she's this. <laughs> I bet Samantha put you up to this. All nurses to the nurse's station. You know you gotta pay for this visit, right? Even if it's a prank. It's not a prank. You really wanna proceed? Yes. All of her tests are normal. No signs of anything out of the ordinary. Take a deep breath. I'm prescribing something for you. It's time to see a shrink. I think you need help. What are you at? Wait until the clock strikes midnight. I want everyone to receive his word. Now God said he will never leave you nor forsake you, nor forget you in his time of need. I want everybody to lift their hands and receive his blessing. Now Joshua 1.9 says, have I not commanded you? Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. 
Do not be terrified nor dismayed because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, can I be honest with you, church? There are times where I feel terrified, dismayed, lose hope. I'm human. I'm not perfect. And when I'm in my dark times, when I'm in my dark valleys, I never lose hope and I never forget the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When I'm at my lowest, when I'm eating with the pigs, I never lose hope because that name, Jesus, is in the back of my mind. Because that name, Jesus, saved my life. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, yes. Now, I wouldn't be doing my job as a pastor if I didn't have an altar oh, call. Come, oh, come the doors of the church are now open. Now, if that's you, come. And a ransom yes. Yes, please, yes. Right Everybody, please. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Everybody give a hand. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Yes. Accept Jesus Christ into your life. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Yes. Oh, here she come with her nose Mama, stop cursing on the church oh, roof. shut up. A cuss word ain't nothing compared to the devil that walks this way. Hey, Sister Margaret. Hey, Sister Sadie. That was just an amazing service. Mm -hmm. And this young lady here, when you walked up to that altar, I felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost fill that place. <laughs> What's your name, baby? Joy. Joy. Such a fitting name for a special young lady like yourself. Now, how do you know these people? These people are standing right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean any disrespect. <laughs> hmm. This is my niece from out of town. Oh. 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 Now, where are you from? That's enough questioning for right now. Joy, can you grab Thomas and meet us at the car? I'm so sorry, Sister Margaret. <laughs> We've got to grab a bite to eat and do a whole bunch of other things before we get home. Come on, Mama. So nice to see you. I told you. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> hey, punk, you tell your mammy about me whipping your ass? Uh huh. Because my dad said I was in trouble. Then it must be from some of the other devilment that you, because it wasn't me. You know? You got a smart ass mouth. Guess I didn't punch you in it hard enough. I didn't sleep well and I'm not in the mood. What'd you say, Paul? He said he's not in the mood. And who are you? His girlfriend? Yes. I'm his friend. And yes, I'm a girl. <laughs> what? A bully is someone that is bigger than you. I'm bigger than you, so I'm your bully. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm bullying you. It's kind of fun. Listen! I promise to God, if you hit me one more time, I'm gonna actually hurt you. Wait, why are you crying? Thomas didn't cry when you punched him in the nose. Leave me alone. I'm waiting for you to hit me back. Wait, you promised. I'm a bully. Hey. There you go, baby. No sugar, right? Of course. Okay. Got to keep this figure right. Your figure is just fine. And fine it is. <laughs> if we leave here about 2.30, we should get to the stadium right on time. Sounds good. It's been so long since I've had a Sunday off. Lord knows I need it. Why don't you quit one of those jobs? We talked about that. Everyone doesn't make executive money. But I will help you. You got your own thing going. Oh, God. No. It's not like that. You know it's complicated. I know. And I understand. I'm still here, aren't I? Yes, baby, you are still here. Okay, then. No pressure. Okay? 
I'm excited about the game. Me too. We should win this one. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? How long did it take you to go through puberty? Oh, you got young jokes. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. We, my son had some company over this weekend. And when she went to bed, she was nine years old. And when she woke up, she was 15. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You can't go through puberty in one night. You're joking, aren't you? I wish I was. Man, I thought dad was gonna watch the game with me. Mom, can you call dad and see if he'll be home in time for the game? No. When are you going to put your foot down? Mama, don't start. I'm just asking a question. I've sat here for the last several years and watched this train wreck of a marriage get worse and worse. Baby, you can't go on like this. Oh, you got so many questions, Mama? Ha! Why don't you find the damn answers? Oh, hold it. Now, you ain't growner than me, little girl. You better watch your mouth. I'm sorry. Your, your father and I, we had problems. No marriage is perfect. But if you want to save your family, you've got to act now. Mama, I am trying. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I cook his food. I make sure that his clothes are clean. I make sure that our house is perfect. The other night, I even put on a special negligee. He didn't even touch me. You know how that made me feel? I was less than a woman. Have you tried just talking to him? Asking him what's wrong? It's just it, Mama. He won't talk to me. I mean, before this thing with Joy. He hadn't said two words to anybody in this house for months. I love my family, Mama. I do, but I, I'm just tired. I'm so tired. So far, sleeping works for me when I'm tired. Have you tried that yet? <laughs> yes, baby, I will give that a try. Thank you. You're absolutely welcome. Hello. <laughs> you there? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out who's crazy, you or her. So, Joy, you don't have a last name and you woke up in an old building. Where exactly is this old building? Mrs. Conley, all I can do is keep her here until someone comes for her. And if they don't? And if they don't, she will enter the foster system. Unless she gives us a last name and, or something to identify her. We have no choice but to keep her and put her under missing person. Like I said, until someone comes for her. Tatiana, I would like to stay with you. Baby, <laughs> we need to find your parents. I don't have any. Are you orphaned? No, <laughs> that's silly. <laughs> I just exist. Okay, look, Mrs. Conley. I could lose my job for this, so don't make me regret it, but you look like a nice person and you pose no threat to this child. What I can do is let you take her, shred this paper, and pretend this meeting never happened. 
Maybe you can convince her to tell you her last name or something to identify her. She says she wants to go with you, okay? Until then, she is your responsibility. You can always come back, bring her back and start this over. But once she enters the system, she may stay there permanently. And there's nothing I can do at that point. Tatiana, I don't want to enter the system. What's the system? Okay, Joy, um, you can come stay with us, but I really need you to think about telling me where you come from, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, um, I'm, I'm sorry that we wasted your time. No, you didn't waste my time. The time going to a good home is a great day for me. All right, let's, let's go. Well, at least it's the last week of school, so we don't have to worry about that right now. It would have been great to go to school. Oh, you will, in the fall. Yeah, it's supposed to rain. Gonna be a storm. They say it's a nasty one tonight. <laughs> Where's your body going? And the girl that beat you up. Just say one more thing. I'm not scared of you. I see that you cry like a little girl. Thanks for what you did to Clyde. I did it for you. You needed to see. See? Yes, that in a way, he's like you. He's scared. Scared? Yes. Everyone's scared of something. What are you scared of? I don't know yet. But I'm looking forward to finding out. You are strange. Here it comes, come on! Where are you going? Just come on! When you first told me your name I didn't hear a word you said But it was written all over my face Should have known it was you I would love until the end time down here is spent It's in every single line Hope you know it was you that I loved until the end Joy, you up? Again. 
you're really taking this joke too far, you know? It's not a joke. This is the same girl, the doctor. She was 16 then, and she was nine before that, and now she's... I don't have time for this, all right? I have real people with real problems. We have a real problem. Look, do me a favor. The next time she grows old, take her to the hospital across town. Have a good day. Don't shrug. Oh, God, that one's not going to work either. Okay, well, you know what? We will just have to go shopping. I will ask Joseph for a little extra money. You don't have any money? Oh, no, I do, but it's, you know, it's our money. We share it, so I don't like to spend anything without telling him. But he spends without telling you? Um, <laughs> it's complicated. Like, it's our money, but he's the one who works for it, so oh, he's the one. No, I don't. Yeah, you cook, clean, take care of the baby. That's all work. Joy, he was just nine the other day, girl. You don't know how the world works. It's, uh, you just leave it alone. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, honey, forget about it. It's fine, it's fine. Thomas thinks you're gonna divorce. He told you that? Yes. He's scared. No, <laughs> no, we are not going to divorce. All couples argue. That is just totally normal. He didn't come home last night. Is that normal? Um, you know what, Joy? Uh, here. Okay. Just, um, do, um I'm going to find you some clothes later. Didn't you just get, thank you. Can you close the door, please? Let's go, Thomas. We're gonna be late, and I'm not driving you all the way up to the lake, honey. If you miss the bus, you're staying here. Son, it's a week. I know. That's why I'm bringing my toys, allergy medicine, blanket, towels, soap, two toothbrushes, and mosquito repellent. West Nile doesn't discriminate. Did you pack your drawers? Hey, put those toys back while you're in there. I'm gonna miss Thomas. Aw, I know, it's only a week though. I would've signed you up too, but uh, you're getting a little grown. <laughs> but I would still like to go. Honey, it's for kids up to 12. I doubt anybody's gonna believe that you're nine. Hell, I saw it myself and I still don't believe it. Okay. Thomas, come on! Mom, you're a lifesaver. I can get two days out of this pair. Maybe three. Ugh. A week? Too much information. Thomas, have fun at camp. Thanks, Joy. It's always fun. Oh, Joy has her own plans. We are going shopping. Yes, we're gonna go to the store to get dope. Wait, what? Yeah, I read it on the internet. You go buy new clothes to get dope. Do me a favor, please. Don't ever say that again. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. God, I remember when he first got this job, I was, I was so proud, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I, I bought little frames and little books and then I put them all over the office so it would remind him of home. And I would bring him lunch every other day. Aww. So it's good. It's good to get back in that habit. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love chicken. It's so much better than mashed potatoes. Yeah, especially the way you eat, girl. <laughs> You know what? Let's let's uh let's go back. Oh, um, let's He's just. I, I'm gonna Joseph. take it for dinner. I just I. Hey, Joseph. Hey, Joseph. I saw you from way over there. Hey, Joy. Um, Sasha. 
This is Joy. And this is Tatiana. His wife. Yes, my wife. This is Sasha. Hi, Sasha. We didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, we were just dropping off some lunch like Tatiana used to do when you first started working here. You remember. I was hoping to see your office. You know, with all the pictures of Thomas and the family spread around with all the frames that she bought you. Sasha, do you work with Joseph? No. How do you know each other? Uh, that's, that's enough. Let's, let's go. Oh, did I do it again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sasha. I ask a lot of questions. I just came to the world. Okay, we really gotta go oh. now. <laughs> It was nice to meet you too. I need to go to the restroom. Oh, I'll go with you. No, no, just uh, stay here. Don't move. Dinner's in the fridge. Okay, can I see you for a second? Yeah. I'll be there in a minute. I already know what you're gonna say, okay? I wasn't spying on you, I was trying to- Please, just let me talk. Okay. Here, sit down. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm leaving you. Joseph, what are you saying? I'm not happy, and I haven't been happy for a long time. God, I'm not happy either. But I love you, I love you, and we can make this work. No, we can't. We try, and we try. But this isn't working. We're just two different people who've obviously grown apart. Is that her? What? Is that, is that her, the, the girl, the, the young girl that you were with in the park? Is she the reason that we've grown apart? She's not the reason. Do you love her? Tatiana, you're not making this any easier. Do you? I don't know. I mean, I like her. How long? It doesn't matter. You son of a bitch. I gave you 18 years of my life. The hell, it doesn't matter how long. About a year. You come in here day in and day out. Smelling like, like that cheap ass bath and body splash. I smelled it on you. And I knew you were staying overnight and that it wasn't for work. So I guess this is, God, it's partially my fault because a man can only do what you allow him to do. And I allowed you to do this. I allowed you to do this because I figured 
since we got married so early, you were just, you were just trying to figure out who you were. I allowed it. But you come, God, you come in here in our house and you tell me that you are leaving me for somebody half my age. You are leaving me for some little, God, you are the worst kind of man. Insults ain't gonna get you nowhere. I wanted to sit down here like a man and tell you the truth. You can go to hell, Joseph. Go straight to hell. Is everything okay? She didn't come home last night. I'm sure she's okay. Yeah. You hurt her real bad, you know. I know. It's for the best. For who? Bye, Joy. For you, or for her, or for the family. You have no idea of what you're talking about right now. I don't, but do you? Little girl, this is still my house. You better watch how you talk to me. Sir, love is the most beautiful thing in this reality. And when a woman loves you that much, you should be cautious with how you treat it. I am, and I tried. I don't love her. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, it has to go both ways. You're right. If you truly don't love her anymore, you're doing the right thing. I am. Then why do you keep looking out the window? Are you okay? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm not. I've heard my mom cry over and over every night. I think he's doing the right thing. Maybe now she won't cry anymore. Thomas, you are a remarkable young man. But you don't have to be tough. Not now. This is not the time. But what about my baby sister? How could she do this to us? He's human. You'll have to forgive him. Not now, but sooner or later. He loves you and Sarah. Joy, where did you come from? I don't know. Why did you come? To help. Oh. I wish mom would just come home. I wouldn't give her a hug. She needs a hug. Well, until then, I'll hug you. Wow, I have never opened one of these by myself. Guess I'm not by myself. <laughs> you seem to be doing fine. Alrighty. Wait a minute. Are you even old enough to drink? I keep forgetting about your little situation. Well, it depends. 
on what old is. What is it? I don't know. You just uh, grow old. I'm taller, so I grew old. No, girl, it's not about your height. It's about your age. I don't have an age. Okay, then. Um, the passage of time. Like, 80 years pass by and then you're old. You are not old. Oh, thanks, girl. Sadie is old. Oh, my God. Do not say that to her, okay? That woman still has a hell of a swing with that damn king. <laughs> mm. Well, if the passage of time makes us old, then I'm only a couple of months old. Oh. But if that's true, then I wouldn't be able to talk or walk or be here. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 Thank you. Mm. Oh, mm. dang, girl. You gotta slow down. Oh. I did what you did. <laughs> true but you're supposed to sip and savor it. Mm, it tastes good. Have some more? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm, yeah. Are you thinking about Joseph? It's complicated. Love isn't complicated. Only people. How old are you anyway? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Look, Joy, I trusted my husband, all right? No matter how it seemed, I trusted him. I knew what was going on all along, but I never thought he'd leave. I trusted him never to leave. I love that man. I think when people are in love, they talk, they dance, they sing. When you're away from your love, your heart aches, but not in a bad way. In a way that feels like a piece of your heart is missing. And only for a brief moment until they return. We had that. We met in high school. And I, I couldn't wait for him to come by my locker each day. I'd pick little fights with him, to, uh, just so he'd write me little notes, buy me gifts to say he was sorry, just so we could make up. It was, uh, it was just high school shit. What happened? How did you lose each other? Life happened. I worked and took care of things Well. He went to college. When he finished, I had Thomas, you know? And I became a stay-at-home mom. When did you notice that he was dating other women? Years ago. Wait. I never said that he was dating other women. I just, I, um... It's okay. You're beautiful. You are beautiful. Something It's good and it's right. I give it all just to have you tonight when you say. Hey, baby, it's about nine o'clock. What you making for breakfast? 
<laughs> no, seriously. Are you going to get up and fix something? I'm starving. new that's the look of new love now I hope you haven't met somebody already rebounds are not good no mama I haven't met anyone yet or rather I found someone <laughs> I found Tatiana again that's what I wanted to hear <laughs> let's pray and eat before the food gets cold can I do it be our guest Dear God, thank you so much for this food we're about to receive. And Lord, thank you for allowing me to be in these beautiful people's lives and for showing me what true love is. Lord, thank you so much for my friendship with Thomas, my understanding with Joseph, my connection with Tatiana, and my relevance with Sadie. But most of all, Thank you so much for this summer. <laughs> this has been a best life that someone like me could ever ask for. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's right? eat! Yes. Yeah! <laughs> so, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat! Yes. Oh. You okay? Yeah, it's just rain. Yeah, it's not gonna be a big storm this time, though. It's just normal old rain this time. Yeah, just normal old rain. Joy? Joy, is that you? What does this mean, Joy? Come on, you gotta tell me something. You, you gotta let us help you. It means my time is running out. No, th th that, that can't be true. Joy, Joy, you just got here. Please, we all love you so much. No worries. I'm perfectly fine. And I'm still here. Let's just make the most of it. Yeah, but what happens the next time you grow old? I mean, you don't have that much older you can grow. Let's just focus on the right now. We worry too much about the future. Life is happening all around us. Okay, uh, let us try to figure out where you come from. Okay, at least let us do that, can we? Because it might give us some clue on how we can help you. I... There is nothing wrong. <coughs> <coughs> I think I'm catching a cold. I'm catching the cold! Yes! I will never understand her. And Okay, I was standing here, and Joy was over there. Yes. I remember this place. And I walked from right over there. Let's go! Yeah, okay. That's strange. There's there's nothing here. I 
what were you expecting? I don't know. A wizard? A time portal? A like, Bifrost? The what? From Thor. They traveled other planets with it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that too. Oh what kind God. of weird place is this? The place that has a kid pop out of thin air. <laughs> hey, I resent that. I didn't pop. I opacified. <laughs> you really don't know where you come from, do you? I just exist. One moment I was nowhere, and then I was. What are you doing here? I want to talk. Joy? Mm -hmm. Wow, I guess it's still happening. Hey, Joy, can you take Thomas down the street for a second so his mom and I can talk? Yeah, sure. Come on, Thomas, let's go get some cookies. I don't like cookies. Not for you, for me. No one was here, so I let myself in. So what do you want? Do you always have to have an attitude every time I try to talk to you? Damn. Actually, I do. Look, I just want to talk like adults for once. No judgment. Ah! Oh, 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 now, now you want to talk with no judgment. I'm trying to apologize, T. Can I do that? I haven't heard that in a long time. I know, I should have apologized a long time ago. T. You haven't called me T in a very, very long time. Actually, you haven't called me anything. Not baby, not Tatiana, not, oh, wait, wait. You actually did acknowledge that I was your wife. Maybe that's where we went wrong, huh? I was just your wife, not your friend, not your lover, not your baby, not even T, just category check mark, wife. Look, that's not fair. Not fair? Not fair? How the hell do you get off telling me something isn't fair? Just... No, you let me speak, Joseph. I will tell you what is not fair. What is not fair is you thinking that I was stupid. Telling me you were working late or on a business trip and actually you were just at the Holiday Inn in the town over. Should have changed your credit card statements to paperless, you asshole. But I trust my husband. That's what I would tell that weak little girl who was T. He's there, yeah. He's just, he's just too tired to come home. I would say to myself, knowing that it was a lie because family mattered most. And if I had you most of the time, then, then hey, you know, maybe that was all I deserved. What I thought was normal. I know. And I'm sorry. Yeah, you are sorry. You are one sorry excuse for a man. What did you think? Just because you made the money, you could do whatever the hell you wanted? I made a sacrifice to push you through school, Joseph. And I did it for forever. Forever, Joseph. There wasn't a single bone in my body that did not think that we wouldn't be together forever. I invested in you because it was an investment in me, in us. And then you leave. You leave me. I, I know. I 
That's why I'm here. That's why I want to talk to you. Look, Tatiana, I want to come home. I want my family back. I know I made a terrible choice. But a part of love is forgiveness. So if you love me, you'll forgive me. I loved you, Joseph. Maybe too much. I was completely devoted to you. You owned my emotions. I never once thought about being with someone else. I couldn't even see other guys, because if one of them tried to flirt with me, all I saw was you. If they smile at me, I just see your smile. I hear your voice in their laughs. I. And then this, you, you weighed down my self-esteem. I never meant to hurt you. I will never, ever again give away my power to be me. And I may cry a little bit longer, but baby, I- But baby, you don't have to cry anymore. <laughs> Not for me, I'm right here. No, that's where you're wrong. I, I am not crying for you. I am crying for me. I'm crying to let you go. I, and, and every tear that falls is just less pain and love for you in my heart. I am getting rid of you, Joseph. I am. I am getting rid of you physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. I am getting rid of you. What, what you, what you saying? Is, it's over. Goodbye, Joseph. Can I ask you something? Sure. When you die, will you leave like a body? Oh, Thomas, I'm not gonna die. But you're so old. <laughs> oh, listen. Some things don't need to be explained. They just happen. That's how life works. This is just a short version of my life. It's like, I'm a commercial. You're the movie. Oh, I get it. <laughs> You come to interrupt to just when it's getting good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. My best friend. My only friend. Aw, thank you, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too. But don't you worry, cause you're gonna have lots of friends as you grow up. You're gonna turn out just fine. What about mom? She's gonna turn out fine too. Can you see the future? <sighs> no. <laughs> I just have a good feeling for people, that's all. What about Dad? Ooh, Thomas, sometimes even grown-ups need to figure out who they really are. <laughs> Unfortunately, it takes some hard situations sometimes. He's going to have to get used to a different type of family. But more importantly, you need to know that he loves you. I do. You know, he's got a long journey ahead of him. He's going to need you. His little man right by his side. I'll be there for mom and dad. I know you will. 
Hey, we need to get back. I'll race you. Yeah, <laughs> on second thought, maybe I won't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom Thomas, honey, come on. You ready? Yeah. You two gonna be all right for a couple of hours? How many times I gotta tell you I'm growner than you? Yes, and I'm growner than you mm -hmm. too. Yeah, yeah, you old bats. No, I mean that in the best possible way. Joy? You gonna be here when we get back? Yes, I'll be here. Good. All right, Mama, don't you let her grow to dust while we're gone. Get out of here and take that boy. Hmm? Yeah, Mom, gonna make me miss the beginning. Oh, hush up. There's 15 minutes of previews anyway. I like the previews. It's like a great commercial. I wish it could last forever. This one. Bye, ladies. Grandma Sadie? Just Sadie. Hell, we about the same age now. <laughs> I guess you're right. I just want to ask you, what's it like to live a lifetime? Well, I guess you don't really think about it. You're born, get married, have kids. And if you're lucky, you retire and get to sit on the porch a little. <laughs> but in a way, Joy, you've lived a lifetime. I mean, you just got to skip all the crazy things life throws at you. Hmm. Sadie, what happened to your husband? Mm, he passed on a long time ago. Went to bed one night and didn't wake up. Well, how did he live? <sighs> no one has ever asked me that. I guess, I guess he lived like he died, quietly. He was a good man. We met when I was 17 and he was 36. Wow. I know it sounds weird today, but in those days, people in the South were poor and marrying you off meant one less mouth to feed. Mm. And oh my, he was so handsome. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was so shy. <laughs> Every time he looked at me, I would look away. Oh. I could keep that up for hours and he never did catch me. But even with his good looks and his charming smile, I didn't love him at first, but it came. It came after a lifetime of trying and crying and failing, praying and succeeding together. There's only one thing that bothers me though. What's that? He didn't have enough time. He missed her wedding, the kid's birth. Sometimes I ask God why. Why did he go so soon? I don't know what happens when a person dies, but I feel like he didn't miss any of it. He was right there. Oh, thank you, Joy. Are you scared? To die? Yes. Uh, I think about it. I think about it a lot lately. What do you think? I don't want to go, Joy. I mean, I have faith. God knows I do. But there's a small part of me that's terrified. I'm so scared that there's nothing on the other side. Yeah, but if there's nothing there, then there's nothing to be scared of, right? No. If there's nothing, that means there's darkness forever. I can't focus on that. I just have to focus on everything that I've witnessed, all the great experiences. I remember discovering nature and realizing how beautiful the world is. I remember how amazing it felt to dance through the rain. I remember walking through the city, talking and laughing with a friend. I remember this amazing sound as the light lit the world. 
Most of all, I remember my friends, my family. That's what I'm gonna take with me when I go. All of you. This has been the best life that I could possibly live. So you're not scared at all? No. When this life stops, I'll still exist. And so will you. Thank you, Joy. Thomas. Yeah? Wait, you're not gonna start running the rain again, are you? I mean, that would look a little weird. No. I just wanna say. I know, you're leaving. They know too. They're just hiding it. Like adults do. They hide everything. They think we're stupid little kids. We know more than they think. Yes, you do. Are you going to tell them? I don't know. You should. That'll give them time to prepare. Let's go. Was on the show you like, right? No, it's the other one, the cute one. Yes, what was his name? Joy? Are you okay? She's leaving. What? You said you didn't know. So? No, jo Joy, we can get you help. You don't have to leave. When? Next week? Tomorrow? Tonight? Not tonight. Oh, Joy. <laughs> oh. <gasps> I don't want to sleep either. Well, then don't.
<laughs> my big man. Look at you growing up. Mom, don't start that. What? You are. You're my little big man. Mm. Oh, so <laughs> don't forget your father's going to pick you up today, so don't walk home and get in the carpool lane okay. instead. Mom, look. Yeah. I've walked by here like a hundred times, but I just can't bring myself to go in. But what if she's there and she's nine and lost again? Then she's there for someone else. I mean, sometimes, sometimes we just have to accept our gifts for what they are and then we gotta let them go so that they can go help someone else. Joy was the best thing that ever happened to our family. So let's just leave it at that. Okay. Uh, So